All right, so this video is doing kind of a comparison between the G6s and the G7, which is this, this is the G7. And I wanted to do this to really show off the differences that this calf piece makes and kind of the pillow makes. You can see it a lot in here. Specifically watch, it's the lime green and the baby blue pad. You can see how this piece is often off the ice, basically all times where it just kind of curls upwards like this. And it doesn't really give you that stability and seal, not puck seal really, but just stability seal that the new one gives you with this integrated pillow in here and just the new design on it. The other thing about this, and I'm gonna do a full video on this because there's a ton of very bad information online on this, and I'm constantly having to fight it on Facebook because people don't really understand how pad sizing and pads kind of work in general, and I've had to do this for skates, I've had to do this for toe ties, and it's again gonna be for this as well. If you're coming on here and you're looking at a G6 or a G7 pad and you're coming from an older Warrior pad, the sizing on it is no different. Follow Warrior size chart, it will tell you where you should be at and that's where it should be. But people are saying, I came from this, like a G5, go to a smaller size in this because of the boot design, which doesn't really make sense because all Warrior pads always had this boot riser in there. It doesn't really do anything in terms of how like the pad sits and plays. And really the only thing this is, is just exposing how this inner piece is and all other pads kind of have this. So this isn't a big difference or change or anything on here. And the boot doesn't change on here at all. It's like the same as what it was on the G6 and it plays similar to what it was on the G5. So when I mentioned that, a big thing that causes these pads to fit bigger than they really are is whenever people use straps like this. So originally on the G5, they didn't really have an internal strap like this. It was just the knee strap, that outer strap, and then that was it, so it had like that calf strap. On the G6 and G7, they introduced this inner kind of upper calf strap, which acts as a professor strap. And they did this probably because a lot of people put professor straps on their pads and they don't necessarily know what it does. They kind of think it just makes the pad rotate better and it, it, it has a different meaning to it, which I'll do a whole video on that as well what that does eventually. But this strap ends up pulling the pad up your leg, especially if you leave it in the stock setting. Like there's two holes on here. I showed it off in my review of this pad, but there's two holes on here. And if you put it on the inner hole and you have this generally tight and there's also adjustable for length as well, this strap ends up pulling your pad up your leg and it ends up making the pad play bigger. But it really isn't the pad that's playing bigger. It's that strapping. So if you never had a professor strap on those old pads and use these loose, this inner strap on the G6 and G7 is gonna pull the pad up and it's going to make the pad fit bigger than it is listed than what you're used to. But it's not the pad sizing or anything. Everything on here is the same. And if you just drop and keep it sitting on your skate, it fits the same. It's the pad strapping that is making the big difference. So if you are someone who had a professor strap on that G5, which is something I had to do to make mine kind of fit right, and I tested out with a set of PGS straps, that sizing and with that professor strap will make this pad fit the same size so you wouldn't have to change at all in that sense so i see all these people always talking and giving suggestions based on oh no go down a size and they don't understand why they're saying go down a size and they don't understand why a pad is fitting differently for them i saw it all the time when i worked at a retail store people would come in they'd put a pad on and it just wouldn't fit at all they're like oh this is way too big this is way too small but they never adjusted the strapping and they never kind of dialed anything in they just kind of put it on and that was it I'm like, mm, you gotta tinker with stuff like this and you gotta actually change with how things work and how things fit. These pads fit me absolutely perfect. I don't land too low on it. On G5s, I always land it off the top. This is the exact way I want for sizing. And I say that for G5s because my G5s were an inch smaller than what these ones were on the knee. And this one just works really well. But there's a ton of bad information online. I'm like, I'm trying to fight it because I'm trying to get people correct information and how things work. And sometimes people don't understand how the whole grand scheme of things and how things play end up working with each other. They don't look at the whole picture. They'll just be like, oh, I put it on, it felt like that. That's not really the whole story of it. So there's more to it. So I'm gonna do a video on that and show exactly how it works and how it will end up. And that will be coming hopefully soon. But for this, this is a very good demonstration of the huge improvements the G7 has over the G6. And the G6 was already a pretty solid pad. The G7 just kind of elevates it. And you can really see it in that calf piece a lot. And that's a much, much better design and a much better piece. So bravo to the people at Warrior who have kind of done that because this really does bring this pad, I think, aligned with the top pads. And I thought the G6 was pretty good, but it still wasn't 
like really, really, really good. This one is just up there and like, it's hard for me to really find many negatives with this. And that's a big praise for me. Core Tech, which are core shorts and people have heard of these before. They were labeled under Under Armour before. Now Bauer sells hockey specific one, but Core themselves sell their own line of pants and supportive clothing and apparel. Basically this stuff helps you with growing strains, growing pulls and helps keep your hips tight and everything like that. And speaking of injuries, I kind of pulled a growing playing in the playoffs a few months ago and have had to keep using these Cortec shorts to make sure my growing doesn't get worse. When I don't wear them, I can feel and it hurts kind of to walk the next day with these. Keeps everything nice and tight and keeps everything from stretching out too far and getting injured. So these have been a huge savior for me. Check out the link in the description to their website and use my coupon code that's in there to get a discount and I'll put it on the screen here. It helps support myself and the channel so I can make content and doing real reviews, but also you get a solid product that I use all the time and basically am needed in order to keep my growing from falling apart. Otherwise, if you want to support the channel without buying anything check out the links in the description to patreon and buy me a coffee everything through those links always comes back into the channel so i can make more content and doing more reviews
You're watching HockeyReviews.ca